Glad you could join us for Friday Night Racing at Betfair Hollywood Park. Good eight race card on tap. Pick six and races three through eight. And on Saturday, it's Gold Cup Day. First post at one o'clock. A lot going on on track. Kentucky Derby winner all have another parades after the third race for his last time on the track before going off to stud in Japan. The Human Connections, Doug O'Neill, Mario Gutierrez will sign autographs, take pictures out in the paddock at 12 noon. And my special guest on the inside scoop, Chantal Sutherland, who rides game on dude in the Hollywood Gold Cup, trying to become the first female rider to win the Hollywood Gold Cup. Chantal will join me at 12 noon right here in the paddock on Saturday. A lot of racing action to get to on a Friday night card. Let's get right to the first. On to the turf for Friday night's opener, Field of Six, Phillies and Mares, for a claiming price of $32,000. The favorite number six, Miss Deal or No Deal, looks to make it back to back wins at the meet. She's odds on at one to five. Vic Stoffer with the call of Friday night's first race. They're off. Miss Deal or No Deal and into Benny. Into Benny pokes her head in front. Risky Art away third. Trapper's Reward sends up inside of her. Then comes Picture Perfect and the trailer is Quiet Advice. It's into Benny up the back stretch. A half length now three quarters in front of Miss Deal or No Deal in second. The same margin to Risky Art who comes outside the favorite now. A length and three quarters from the lead. Trapper's Reward stays at the rail fourth with two to make up. Then it's a gap of six lengths back to Picture Perfect. Three more last. Quiet advice. They leave the back stretch. Enta Benny and Miss Deal or No Deal. Enta Benny, a half length in front. Miss Deal or No Deal. Gallops and tracking second. Then to the outside of three wide Risky Art. Pretty much pushed along now. Risky Art, she's two from the front. Trapper's Reward stays at the rail. Then Picture Perfect. Enta Benny off the top of the turn. Miss Deal or No Deal gets the go signal from Bejarano. And now we have a new leader. Miss Deal or No Deal passes mid stretch. Now a length and a half in front of Enta Benny, who's back in second. Risky Art. Picture Perfect rallies in the center, but it's Miss Deal or No Deal clear to the wire. Miss Deal or No Deal. Miss Deal or No Deal won by three. Boy, is it close for second. It might be a dead heat for second between Picture Perfect and Enta Benny. It's an inch either way. Risky Yard finished fourth. Easy win for the favorite, Miss Deal or No Deal. Rafael Bejarano up for Jerry Hollendorf for at $2.40. Enta Benny ran well and held second. That trifecta, 22.90. There was a claim, but not for the winner. A nine-way shake for number five, Risky Art. Goes to Rafael Becerra for $32,000. Final time, 109 and 4. Race 2 kicks off the early pick 4, a mile and 1 16th. Phillies and Mares 3 and up, which have never won 2. Field of 6 went to the gate. Number 1 Brazilian Charm bet from 8 to 1 on the line down to the second choice at 5 to 2. Leica, the 2 to 1 post time favorite. They're up. Raganwood and Cheese Key both ask for speed. Leica takes back and sits third. Then comes at the rail derby memo, followed by Blue Eyes included, and the early trailer is Brazilian Charm. Cheese Key and Raganwood, the two jocks eyeballing each other, and they ro both realize they're sending, and now they're match racing to the back stretch. So Raganwood and Cheese Key, even though both riders now take hold, the two horses are battling up front, and Cheese Key is outside of Raganwood, and they've sprinted five lengths clear. Leica races in third, another four and a half to Derby Memo. Blue Eyes included is 10 off the lead, and Brazilian Charm has 11 lengths to make up as they run up the back stretch. Cheese Key and Raganwood continue to match strides and trade punches up the backside. Raganwood at the rail puts her white blinkers narrowly in front of Cheese Key, a head back in second. Now it's four lengths to Leica, only a length and a half to Blue Eyes included, who moves nicely in the green blinkers. Here's Blue Eyes included within five of the lead. Meanwhile, Derby Memo runs up outside of her. Derby Memo will be three wide, leaving the back stretch. Brazilian Charm is still sixth and last for Vergara, but now only eight behind, three furlongs left to race. She's Key and Raganwood continue their battle up front. Stretch runners are coming. The first one is Leica in the orange cap. She runs up three wide, going to be even with the top two at the quarter pole. 
Then comes Derby Memo, who's now all in. Blue eyes included. White green blinkers nowhere to go right now. Going to forge her way four wide, but she's traveling very nicely. Brazilian Charm is last, but only four behind. Laika has the lead. Blue eyes included has found her seam, and here she comes. Blue eyes included now takes charge, levels out and runs away. Blue eyes included, suddenly four in front. Derby Memo looks like she'll grind into second, like a third. Blue eyes included. Good looking win. She won by seven and a half in the end. Derby Memo second, like a third. She's key fourth. It took Blue Eyes Included nine starts to break her maiden, but she comes right back in her first time against winners and scores nicely. Robert Lucas, the winning trainer for owner Willard Thompson. Joe Talamo aboard at $8.40. Long shot Derby Memo completed that exact a good for $37.80, the double $14.60. Final time, 148 and 1. We'll take a break, come back with a Friday night pick six. It's closing week at Ben Fair Hollywood Park, and we've saved the best for last. Friday night, July 13th, our Rock at the Races concert series presents X Live in Concert. Saturday, July 14th, it's the Grade 1 American Oak presented by American Airlines with a special Ben Fair Hollywood Park rolling bag giveaway for all our fans. It's X live in concert on July 13th and the American Oaks presented by American Airlines on July 14th at Ben Fair Hollywood Park. Back with Friday night's third race, the start of the pick six, a mile and one sixteenth on the turf and a field of seven California bred maidens. Favorite in this one was number one, Jolly Joseph at three to one. The six, Rea Roja, also off at three to one. Seven went a mile and a sixteenth on a firm turf course in race three. They're up. Hatradamas wins the break. Shirley Swift away in second. Jolly Joseph broke last, but now he is quarter horse through by Maldonado at the rail. And Jolly Joseph going to try to set the pace, but it'll be contested with Hatradamas and CC Seattle. Shirley Swift now settles in in fourth. And deep play and Ray Aroha in the early trailer is Afrentando. Jolly Joseph is the leader to the back stretch. Whatever the first fraction shows, it's about two fifths quicker for him because he got left and rushed up three quarters of a length from Hotradamus in second. Then CC Seattle, the gray and the green. He's two and a half off the front. Shirley Swift gallops fourth with three and a half to make up. Deep play is tugging at D flow. He is fifth and about five from the lead. He's two in front of Rea Roja, and Afrentando is at the back of the pack. Nine lengths, first to last, a half mile left to race. Jolly Joseph and Hot Tradamas. These two continue to set a solid pace together. Jolly Joseph, a half length in front of Hot Tradamas in second. Shirley Swift has just taken over third at the rail in the red, and he's two from the front. CC Seattle is next. Deep play, still a handful for Flores, but he's running nicely. He's about four from the front, needs a way through now. Deep play, red blinkers. Then comes Rea Roja and Afrin Tondo, top of the stretch. Jolly Joseph, still entering. Enterprising up front, a half length in front of Hotradamus in second. Deep play just found that seam. He's t up into third now and two from the front, but Afrentando is also closing center of the racetrack. And Afrentando and Deep play, these are the two that are going to sprint home. Afrentando's a neck in front. Deep play counter punches inside, and these two in a good one to the wire. Afrentando, Deep play, Deep play, Afrentando, Deep play wins. Deep play beat Afrentando on the square, a half length. Raya Roja third and Shirley Swift fourth. Blinkers on deep play in his third career start and a very nice ride by David Flores as he holds off number seven Afrin Tondo the length of the lane to get the maiden broken. A son of Suance is trained by Daryl Vienna for the Red Baron's Barn. $9.80 to win. Finishing second of seven Afrin Tondo and third was Raya Roja. Pick three $39.70. Final time one forty two and four. Moving on to race number four, it's seven furlongs, three year olds and up, a claiming price of $8,000. Put Agapito Delgadillo on the five, Orbach, a couple of two to one shots, striking spirit was the post time choice. They're off. Striking spirit broke well, so did Brady Blue Eyes and uh, Streets of Heaven. Orbach away. In fourth, passed now by Bello Purse. Rain gears on the move to be midfield, and Scotty Jones moves through at the rail. Now Orbach is the trailer, and Brady Blue Eyes is the leader. 
Brady Blue Eyes just in front of Striking Spirit, and now Striking Spirit takes up the running at the rail, and he'll set the pace three quarters from Brady Blue Eyes in second. Then it's a lineup of three. Bellaport's between horses, Rain Gear at the rail, and Streets of Heaven three deep. They're all two from the front. Orbach is second to last with four and a half lengths to make up, and Scotty Jones is the trailer as they leave the back stretch, striking spirit, the one to catch. He is a measured three quarters of a length in front of Brady Blue Eyes and a three wide Streets of Heaven. These three pretty much going to line up around the far turn. Orbach is a hard ridden fourth, but he's only two from the front. Rain Gear has tailed off to fifth. He's got five lengths to make up. Bellow Purse didn't fire tonight. He's got 10 to come. Scotty Jones is the trailer, and Striking Spirit is getting away at the top of the stretch. Striking Spirit has cut the corner now, and he leads by two and a half lengths. Striking Spirit over Streets of Heaven. Then Orbach to the outside. Final 16th. Striking Spirit, the veteran Streets of Heaven, is now after him. Striking Spirit, three quarters. Streets of Heaven, Striking Spirit, Streets of Heaven. If it's Friday, it must be Iggy. Striking spirit wins. Streets of Evans, second Orbach, third maybe Bellow Purse for fourth. Good handling by Iggy Puglisi for his good friend Paul Aguirre and owner Ron Charles. Striking spirit, a seven year old gelding, six dollars on the win end. Streets of Heaven ran well in his first start of the year to complete the exacta. Third was Orbach. Pick three, hundred dollars and four dimes. Final time, 125 flat. Take a timeout, come back with the late pick four. Closing week at Ben Fair Hollywood Park, and we've saved the best for last. Right ahead, July 13th, our Rock at the Races concert series presents X Live in Concert. Saturday, July 14th, it's the Grade 1 American Oak presented by American Airlines with a special Ben Fair Hollywood Park rolling bag giveaway for all our fans. It's X Live in Concert on July 13th, and the American Oaks presented by American Airlines on July 14th at Ben Fair Hollywood Park. Back with Friday night's fifth race, the start of the late pick four, six furlongs on the turf in a field of six. Number two, Nofty, has been second at the condition in his last two starts. He's knocked down to the three to five choice. Six went six on the grass to kick off the late pick four. They're up. Dance with Gable and Valentine Boy. Nofty's on the move between horses. There goes Nofty tightly at the rail. He and Valentine Boy will set the pace. Dance with Gable now third, then Mr. Ornery, followed by Blue Jay Attack, and the trailer is Night Fever. It is Valentine Boy and Nofty up the back stretch. Valentine Boy ahead in front. Nofty is second by a length and a half. Dance with Gable going to choose a three wide path, and he's after the front runners now. Dance with Gable a length and a quarter from the front. Mr. Ornery has two and a half lengths to make up. He's two and a half in front of Blue Jay Attack at the rail, and the trailer is Night Fever. They round the far turn, and Nofty is the leader. Dance with Gable took the two path, and he's about to split horses inside of Valentine Boy. Meanwhile, Nofty is traveling very well at the top of the stretch, and he's opened up a nice lead. Nofty is now three or four lengths in front. Dance with Gable, Mr. Ornery, Blue Jay Attack to the outside, and Valentine Boy stretch across the track for second, but Nofty is clear. Blue Jay Attack looks like he'll challenge Mr. Ornery for second, but Nofty's clear to the wire. Nofty, Mr. Ornery, Blue Jay Attack, Nofty. Nofty at one by a length and a half. Looks like Mr. Ornery just nodded Blue Jay Attack for second, close for fourth. Nofty much the best in race number five. Garrett Gomez, an armchair ride for trainer Gary Mandela, son of Stormy Atlantic, $3.40 to win. Mr. Ornery won the place photo over number three, Blue Jay Attack. Pick four, 130.55. Pick five, 186.75. Final time, 109 and one. Race number six began to final pick three on the Friday night card. Maiden claimers, claiming price of $20,000. Number three, War King adds blinkers. Eight went a mile and a sixteenth in race number six. They're at the post. They're off. Tis Victorious broke well, so did War King, who sent out. Inside of him, Mr. Night Fever. Now Tis Victorious takes back, passed by Roheran Strider and Extra Hot and Anamarakius. 
At the rail goes Cheesy Breezy, then nearly was mine. And Tis Victorious, who broke on top, is last early now as they turn into the backstretch with War King and Mr. Night Fever. War King pokes his yellow blinkers in front. Mr. Night Fever is second by a length and a quarter to Roheron Strider, who gallops third. Two lengths further back to Cheesy Breezy at the rail, Amarakius and Extra Hot. They're all about four from the front. Nearly Was Mine has seven lengths to make up, and then it's four lengths last. Eleven from the front, Tis Victorious up the back stretch. War King and Mr. Night Fever continue to match strides. War King outside, Mr. Night Fever at the rail. Roheron Strider continues to track. He's joined through from the inside by two horses, Amarakius and a Cheesy Breezy. Going to get tight leaving the back stretch. Then comes Nearly Was Mine, sixth, but only four from the front. Outside is Extra Hot. He's got four and a half to come. Tix Victorious is still 10 lengths behind as they round the far turn absolutely wide open. There goes Roheron Strider. And Roheron Strider going to make his move. New leader to the quarter pole. Roheron Strider from Mr. Night Fever. War King is gone. Nearly was mine is in the center. He's only two from the front. Amarakius and Cheesy Breezy. Tis Victorious out of last place but eight behind Roheron Strider. Mr. Night Fever. And nearly was mine. Roheron Strider. Final furlong he leads. He's a Length in front, Mr. Night Fever, Cheesy Breezy at the rail, nearly was mine in the center, has a chance, but they're all chasing Roheron Strider, Tis Victorious, charging but too late. Roheron Strider, Tis Victorious, Roheron Strider. Roheron Strider held off, Tis Victorious, beat him a half length, nearly was mine, was third, close for fourth, Cheesy Breezy and Amarakius. Roheron Strider bet down from 12 to 1 on a line to 9 to 2. Scores convincingly under jockey Edwin Maldonado for trainer Declan Jackson and the owner of Shao Family Trust. Roheron Strider, $11 even to win. Tis victorious and nearly was mine. Rounded out that trifecta good for $99.60. Final time, 148 1. We'll take a break, come back with a seventh. Betfair Hollywood Park, and we've saved the best for last. Friday night, July 13th, our Rock at the Races concert series presents X Live in Concert. Saturday, July 14th, it's the Grade 1 American Oak presented by American Airlines with a special Betfair Hollywood Park rolling bag giveaway for all our fans. It's X Live in Concert on July 13th, and the American Oaks presented by American Airlines on July 14th at Betfair Hollywood Park. Back with Friday night's 7th race, a mile and 1 16th, an allowance race. Phillies and Mares 3 and up, a purse of $52,000. Number 2, Emerald Gold, first start on the main track at the meet, a 3 to 2 favorite. Jardell, the second choice at 2 to 1. A quintet traveled a mile and a 16th in race 7. They're at the post. They're up for the start of the late double. Pink Blossom and Emerald Gold, a hard scent Jardella. These three, Pink Blossom quickest and rides the rail. Bella's Fantasy and the only key at the back of the pack. It will be Pink Blossom to set the pace. Jardella wanted the lead, but will have to run now and sit second. Pink Blossom, the front runner, a length and a half. Jardella is second. These two have sprinted four lengths clear of Emerald Gold in third. Then Bella's Fantasy, fourth at the rail and about eight behind. Alongside her, it's Aaron Greider and the only key. That's the five of them as they head up the back stretch with five and one half furlongs left to race in the first half of the late double. It is Pink Blossom in front. It's a solid two and a quarter length lead now from Jardella in second. Two and a quarter more to Emerald Gold in third. At the rail, Bella's Fantasy, a closer fourth. Now about six off the lead. The only keys a neck behind Bella, past the half mile pole, Pink Blossom aggressive. Pink Blossom into the far turn. Leads Jardella now by a length and a half. Emerald Gold begins to make her move in the center of the racetrack. Yellow Cap, Glen Hill Farm Silks, and Emerald Gold is within two and a quarter of the lead. Bella's Fantasy stays at the rail, saves ground. The only key is still the trailer, and Pink Blossom is still the leader. Pink Blossom, tough to get by, top of the stretch. She gallops along in front by a length and a half from Jardella in second. The whip is out on Emerald Gold, but she just lost third to Bella's Fantasy. Fantasy. The only key is three from the front, and Pink Blossom is confronted on both sides. Bella's Fantasy through at the rail. To the outside, Jardella, Pink Blossom trying to not let Bella's Fantasy buy in these two. Shoulder to shoulder, final 50 yards, but now Bella's Fantasy takes it over, and Bella's Fantasy wins.
Bella's Fantasy beat Pink Blossom by about two. Jardella finished third, and the only key was fourth. Nice price on Bella's Fantasy, a daughter of the top class racehorse Hard Spun. Bob Baffert, Joe Talamo, the winning team, $14 even. Pace center Pink Blossom held second, finishing third was Jardella. Pick three, $130 in a dime. Final time, 147 flat. Eighth and final wraps up the card. Six and a half furlongs, maiden fillies and mares, three and up, a climbing price of $20,000. Fool's figure had the second choice at two to one. Juan Hernandez takes over on the four, Warren's hottie. Queen Mercury, first start for Vladimir Serin, the three to two post time choice. Nine went six and a half in race eight. They're at the post. They're off. Queen Mercury and Addendum shows speed. Burst scale in the center. Ink face on the move at the rail. Kentucky tail. Speedy Vixen and Tori Italiana. Then Foles figurehead and the trailer is Warren's hottie. Queen Mercury up the back stretch with Ink face trying to get through on the inside. Queen Mercury a half length in front. Apprentice Arnold Perez has Ink face in a tight spot at the rail. In or out and just outside of those two goes Addendum. Then comes Burst scale fourth. And two and a half lengths off the lead, a length and a half to Kentucky Tail. Fool's Figurehead is moving up from the inside. Here's Talamo and Fool's Figurehead up into fifth now and about five from the lead. Speedy Vixen's in the center. Tori Italiana has one beat and six lengths to make up and five back to Warren's Hottie, top of the stretch, Queen Mercury and Addendum. And these two sprint clear at the top of the stretch. Queen Mercury inside, Addendum outside, Queen Mercury a neck in front. Fool's figurehead has split horses, moved into third now, but five behind Queen Mercury and Addendum, and Queen Mercury is now a half length in front of Addendum in second. Fool's figurehead is third, but too far behind to make an impact, and Queen Mercury is going to clear off now and get the money. Queen Mercury, Addendum second, Fool's figurehead third, Queen Mercury. Queen Mercury beat Addendum by a length. Fool's figurehead finished third. It's close for fourth and fifth between Kentucky Tail and Speedy Vixen. First start in the Vladimir Sarinbarn Queen Mercury owned by Alan Landsberg scores nicely in the eighth and final holding off the long shot at Dendum. Rafael Bejarano chocks up another win at five dollars even. Finishing third was Fool's figurehead. Trifecta 119.60. Super high five six thousand four hundred ten dollars even. There were two claims in the race. Number two Fool's figurehead to Paul Aguirre. Number seven, Queen Mercury to Mike Pipey. Both those claims for $20,000. Late pick four, $185 even. Pick six, six out of six, five tickets, $15,266. Five out of six, 270 40 Place pick all, $412.50. Gold Cup day on Saturday, first post, one o'clock. Two scratches, race seven, take out the four, Hollywood Heist. Race 10, take out the six, Trapper's Reward. That'll do it for Friday Night Racing at Betfair Hollywood Park. Hollywood Gold Cup on Saturday, first post at 1 o'clock for a 10-race program. Hope to see you then. For track announcer Vic Stauffer, I'm Kurt Hoover. See you Gold Cup Day at Betfair Hollywood Park.